Low-carb diets can be advantageous in increased body weight, heart disease and treatment of diabetes according to new clinical studies. Low-carb diets still revolutionize the clinical practice of nutrition. Many scientists are now indicating low-carb solutions for many disease states, according to Richard D. Feynman, Ph.D., professor of biochemistry at SUNY Downstate Medical Center in Brooklyn. He also says, and practically speaking, some of the clinical results, particularly in diabetes, are quite remarkable. I have seen many patients who were heading for disaster and who have turned their disease and their lives around simply by avoiding foods they cannot tolerate which is carbohydrates. This simple, effective approach could reverse the epidemic of type 2 diabetes, says Mary Vernon, MD, FAAFP, CMD and President of the American Society of Bariatric Physicians, known for her controlled carbohydrate challenge with her patients for some time now. Thanks to the low-carb approach we've seen many patients reduce or completely eliminate drug therapy. Of course, it is up to a patient if they want to continue their medication, but they should at least be given a choice of a non-pharmacological approach. Low-carb diets seem to have always had a metabolic foundation and although the news has concentrated mainly on the business side of the topic, science continues to dramatically move forward with it. Some of the important findings about low-carb diets are. A restrained carbohydrate way of life is an efficient way to control type 2 diabetes blood sugar. Patients are consistently able to lower or do away with disease. A third of overweight Americans who are trying to lose weight, are doing so by eating less carbs. More recent evidence to bear the weight of the benefits of a restrained carbohydrate way of life for heart risk factors such as low HDL and small LDL lipoprotein standard. A restrained carbohydrate way of life may be the best treatment for metabolic syndrome, a forerunner condition to diabetes and heart disease. Over 60% of Americans are overweight, 38% are actually doing something about it. 